So I was going to go with this antenna tower. Um, but it's a little intrusive. My neighbors might not like it as much. I like the skinny thousand foot tower instead. So I decided to put up my antenna tower. There it is. I had a hard time getting up there. So, the family is here shopping while we're at Lake of the Ozarks. And I'm gonna get the heck out of here and go play radio. But I gotta find where to go. I don't even know where I'm gonna go. It is Cinco de Mayo and we made the mistake of going to that Mexican restaurant not realizing it and it was jam-packed with people for whatever reason. I don't know if there's a special or what, but see the people outside? Well, this was lucky. Using my maps, I found a park right close to the outlet mall where my family is shopping for my daughter's clothes because she grew so fast that she needed new clothes. Don't know what I'm going to do or where I'm going to go. Okay, I just arrived at this park and I've never been here before. I have no clue what's going on or what to expect. So what I'm thinking is, well, people are fishing off of that. Well, not, not right now, but I'm thinking of climbing up there somewhere and setting up my antenna. So I have an omnidirectional microphone on my camera right now. But it's windy and I have a dead cat on it, so that I don't know how the audio is going to turn out. Do you know, I was thinking I could just operate right here. But, with that chameleon, I want to be up higher. So I think I'm going to challenge myself a bit. Walk up this hill, get away and kind of hide up in there and then run my uh, chameleon. I thought about also going up there, but... Hmm, what do you do? I could go back in there. Don't want to walk too far though. Right on a course of action, I can take my stuff in there and kind of hug the ridge, kind of go back. I don't like that uh, my antenna will be kind of blocked by all these trees, but let's see what happens. Gotta watch for poison ivy. It's still pretty early in the season. It probably hasn't popped up yet. Also gotta look for snakes. We have copperheads here, uh, water moccasins. I don't know if that's the same thing. I have seen a rattlesnake in Missouri. They're called timber, timber rattlesnakes. I'm feeling better about coming up here. Um, this is a park I've never been to, but I'm seeing a trail. I can tell people have taken this trail. Um, it's pretty. I'm not going to go to the top of this. I don't know what to do. Looks like it'd be a lot of work to get to the top of this hill here. Pretty steep drop off. Wouldn't want to roll down that. So this little lake here, it says no fishing. They're trying to regrow the baby fish or whatever. And I've got this thing. I'm afraid that the ranger will think I'm trying to fish or something like that's just what they do. They got nothing else to do all day, so they invent problems. All right. Keeping it wild. Keeping it real. Lake of the Ozarks. Next problem I have is how do you set up uh, the impasse because it needs a clamp or a stake? How am I going to do that? You know what, I thought, why not? It's probably 100 yards up. It's a very steep hill. Very steep hill. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the top. I don't see any signs that say I can't. Wow, check out that rock. What is that? Oh my god, this is really steep. I'm guessing I'm going to be 300 feet above that lake down there. Uh. 
I'm carrying about 40 pounds worth of gear. I'm near the top. I bet I'm 300, 350 feet from the lake level. Okay, sorry about my breath. I'm gonna find this, sit on this stump right here, deadfall, hook my chameleon to that. Call it a day, pretty much the top. Crested hill, antenna set up, got the whip, 17.4 feet, roughly. I didn't remember to bring my counterpoise, so I had to use the one I made, and I'm at 50 feet that way. And I made the king of all mistakes. I forgot to bring my antenna tuner, and the U-Kits needs that, but fortunately, I keyed up, and the SWR is low, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try anyway. Uh, using the chameleon behind me. Um, this is a, uh, I know there's RF, you know, coming out. I want to be as far away as possible, but I only have a 10-foot cable, and I'm on a super time crunch right now. So, all right, Hot, uh, fairly high SWR, three watts, no antenna tuner. I'm getting, without a tuner, I'm getting a real low SWR on 7.060 using this chameleon. See? That's good. Called CQ, CQ, nothing. I decided to go. Lucky idea on the hill. I took the, uh, I'm gonna try an NVIS. Uh, you're supposed to be up 10 feet. I'm only up about seven, um, but that's as high as I could reach. We'll give it a try. Counterpoise going that way. I should actually bring it under. I'm gonna try that. And it's a little bit messed up, but I'm just gonna try it. There we are. Um, whip going that way. Counterpoise going the same way. Let's see what happens. Okay, call CQ, CQ forever, nobody heard me. So now I'm trying something different. Now I've got the whip. I'm gonna go up higher, and I took the counterpoise and I kinda just wrapped it up up high off the ground. I'm thinking dipole, that's what I'm gonna give it a try. Let's just see what happens. Nothing else is working. I know this is a crazy configuration. But I tried everything else and nothing else worked. Um, and I had a low SWR, so I just wanted to try everything, you know. You never know, the right angle just might work. I have a feeling the range is so short on with the whip is that it's just not getting out very far and there's just not enough people. Doing CW within 100, 200, 300 miles, there's not enough people using a whip to hear me. So there's just a lack of people. I'm not wearing hiking shoes, so I gotta be careful going down. Um, it seems lots of interesting things. I had bugs crawling all over me. You just have to wipe them off. Uh, mostly ants. Hopefully not ticks yet. I saw a big old uh, woodpecker hole somewhere. Okay, that was a disappointment to say the least. Um, not one ounce of anyone hearing me. Not even a call, nothing. Zero. Uh, pretty disappointing. However, you have to remember, I'm only putting out one to three watts with an internal battery. I see a sign down there. I sure hope it says no trust. Doesn't say no trespassing. Because that's all I've been doing. Uh oh. <laughs> I better get that out of here. 
All right, so I'm just gonna say it's not it's not a real fair test. Um, I'm finding I'm starting to believe the chameleon is not a QRP antenna. It needs more power. One to three watts is not cutting it. I called. I I answered. I almost fell. I answered CQs a few times, and nobody heard me. I'm a little worried. I didn't see any signs up on the way up, and now there's a sign. Let's find out what it says. I may not supposed to be here. This is all on public land, though. Let's find out. What does the sign say? No trespassing? Let's find out. Park, no. Missouri State Park, no hunting. Oh, that's fine. I wasn't gonna. It's a state park. Um, so I'm fine being here, but I didn't see any signs on the way up. I was doing this once. I was doing this once in Missouri. I was trying to find a place to camp. And I parked, and it was a park, right? It was a park like this, and I started walking. And I noticed there was some water in a boat. And I started walking down towards it, just, to, just checking things out, right? And as I'm walking down there, as I'm walking down there, I notice these purple things painted on the trees, right? Think about that. Now, if you don't know what that means, I'm going to tell you what that means. But there was purple marks every every so every so every now and then on the trees. Okay. All right, that's fine. I'm, I'm still in a park, right? A state park or whatever. All of a sudden, these guys with guns come out. It was near dark too. And these guys with guns, they had them down low, like they were pointing them on the ground, and they were like, "What are you doing here? This is private property." You know what those purple things are? That means it's private property. Two or three guys come out of the woods with guns. And they say, boy, this you're on you're lucky day. Anyway, I said, hey, they thought I might be poaching or something or hunting on their land. But I was there and I was dressed in like colors like this. I wasn't, there was no way I was hunting. So I said, I'm just looking for a place to camp, you know. I was like, all right, well, you need to get off this land. And they, they pointed them the wrong way. They said, you need to go that way. And I knew it was the other way. And so I was like, okay, fine. And so I went the way they said, but then I circled back around and went to my car. Had I gone the way they said, I would have got, I mean, there was probably 50 miles of woods the way they pointed to me. Anyway, that's a story for you. Be careful. Um, private property, purple. If you see purple painted on the trees, that means private property. And uh, that's the only way you would know is if somebody tells you. That looks cool. Wanna sleep in there tonight? All right. So there's the lake again. And I found my little trail. I'm, I'm pretty good about not getting lost. I have a really good gen general sense of direction. I kind of almost always know the way I came, you know. If there were any question at all, you know, if I was on like a trail that split off and kept splitting off and kept splitting off, then I would have to take steps to make sure I don't get lost. But in general, I pretty much know. There's my van down there. Check it out, wild fern. I see lots of wild onion. Um, this kind of funny. My dad said, if you have a, you have cows, and if their milk tastes like onions, it means they got into an onion patch and just. They would eat the onions and the milk would taste like onions. And it happened a lot with farmers. It doesn't happen now. Back to civilization.